Hey guys, well, once again I'm back and uh, today I'm going to show how to uh, sync up your repository uh, uh, using uh, from your scratch org and uh, how to uh, send changes made in your repository to your scratch org. So once again I'm back in my same folder demo project and uh, right now uh, let me first check which orgs I'm connected to. Or maybe I can just directly open if we know uh, first colon org colon open. This is the alias that I'm going to use. Uh, okay, let's see if this is an existing org that is connected. Okay, so the org has opened and now uh, let's try doing something you know like any, anything just changes so let's say uh, we start with some custom object so let's say I'm gonna create an object named student uh, plural is students and I'll say save And perhaps I will add something as uh, student age. Uh, oops, sorry, age. Hmm. And the layout so these are uh, a few changes that I made and now let's see if we can pull this back so what I'm gonna do is sfdx force colon um, source colon pull minus u test or two Let's see, let's see, let's see. And as we can see, uh, it has correctly pulled the custom object that was created, the custom field, the changes in the layout, and the changes in the profiles. So basically, did this uh, takes away all your worries about tracking changes in your org because earlier uh, I, I remember uh, there was once a time even I myself used to you know use an excel sheet to track all the changes uh, that were being done in the org but now not just code related changes but even configurational changes can be easily tracked using uh, a scratch org okay now let's see uh, how does it look like here uh, so as we can see, the layout layout is here. Obviously, uh, it's in a different uh, format. It's in, a, it's in an XML format. Then we have uh, the fields and the object itself. Okay. Hmm. Now, let's create uh, a trigger on this uh, student object. So here we go. There's going to be a code related change. Uh, new Apex trigger. Uh, let's name it student trigger. And we'll choose here uh, student. Now, uh, let's say uh, that's it. We, we won't write anything else. Let's see if we can sync it back. And uh, one more thing, if we do a minus F, it will overwrite everything. Okay, so the student trigger is also pulled. Now you must be wondering uh, if you really need to remember all these things. Not exactly. As showed yesterday, we have a lot of uh, man pages just like Linux. Just 
type minus minus help after every command and it will give you more details so now uh, let's do a sub dx force uh, now you get to see all these commands and I used this because I want to sync my uh, project with my org essentially for scratch orgs okay and uh, okay let's see what more can we find here force colon source colon minus minus help okay so now we see all these things that we can do convert delete deploy open pull push retrieve status okay now this is uh, mainly for pulling uh, changes from scratch org to your project and this is for pushing the changes uh, to a scratch org from your project okay so this is what we have been doing now let's see if the trigger is already here is it is it and it is this is just the metadata version and active and all those things now let's see if we can write something here mm -hmm. so let's write if uh, trigger dot um, is before and trigger dot is uh, insert and 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 hmm what else can we do what else can we do Let's say we can just do a uh, uh, system dot debug. Um, let me write uh, inside before insert block of student trigger. And that's it. Okay. So now let's see if we can push it back. So it's not yet here. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, source colon push, and let's see what are the options available. Uh, force overwrite, ignore warnings, uh, target username. Uh, this is the scratch arc aliasing, weight JSON, and all these things log level. Okay, so now let's do this. SFDX space force colon arc colon push minus u test arc two and minus f. Hmm. So what did we do wrong? SFDX force colon uh, 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 sorry, source, colon, push, then, minus u, test org 2, minus f. And now all these changes to the trigger should be available here. Hmm. If I close it, and if I open it again, it's here. And let's do a pull again. Hmm. so as you can see <clears throat> it's it's very easy to you know like sync up your project with your scratch org and all the changes made in the scratch org with your project and then you can always you know take care of this um, check it into your github or bitbucket or any other version control um, system that you're using so 
that's it. Uh, no more tension of uh, tracking your changes. It gets done automatically. So that's it for now. See you again next day.